and um, she's been here at the Mustang camp for about four days. And um, what I'd like to do in this film is kind of document what the problems are when they're um, pre-trained down at the U.S. Forest Service facility in Farmington. Um, what we've done with this mare so far is we've taught her to target our fingers. So when we hold our fingers like this, that means come up and touch it, X, and then we give her a reward. We went from that to offering her a wadded up rope. Come on, sweetie. Don't be camera shy. X. And she did just fine with that. She had no problems. The next step after that was we taught her to stick her head in a rope loop. She, she's a little gun shy about it because I've dropped the rope on her before. And that's what she's been, that's what she's been sensitized to at the Forest Service. X. You see, she's just afraid of it. She doesn't have a problem being near the rope so much because she's been touching it, if I just use it to lead her, she's not afraid of following it. She's just been taught to not stand still if it gets on her neck. So I'll have to go ahead and teach her first to just walk with me with the rope next to her because if I put it on her she's already learned to run away. It'll take about two days to get past this little barricade that's been created. Here Pat prepares to work with Leopold. Leopold arrived at the ranch with some serious rope problems. Once you have your stick working on your Mustang, you, it's time to put a rope on them. The good way to do that is just put a clove hitch, attach your rope with a clove hitch to the end of your stick. At first it might be a little scary, but the stick's familiar. If it's not, it just keep going with him. Ooh. Okay, we don't really want him to escape it. We can take it off when he's standing still and start over again. This time I'll just try to take it over his back. Like so. I'd like to turn him around, but I'd like to turn him toward the inside if I can. If I can't, I can't. Come here, Roy. Come here. Can we do this? Get the rope, Roy. Get the rope. No, not that rope. Not that end. The other end. Roy, the other end. Get that. Give it to me. That's enough. Now what I want to do is I want to start flipping the rope so he gets used to flipping it and realizes it doesn't mean anything. I can also control it.
Doesn't mean anything. He's been handled enough. No, we're not going to hurt him. Back on the back on the back leg. <laughs> Prince Albert came to us as a pretty disturbed, scared Mustang who had been really sensitized to rope. So we instead of putting the rope on him, which just scared him, we chose to train him a different way. We chose to have him target the halter while we were walking away from him. And I want to show you how that works. I, I don't reward him for being on that side of me. It's not where I want him. Once he'd learned to come follow it, then we started putting it over his nose. X. So before he'd ever had a rope on him, he knew how to follow a human. He knew how to trot to keep up. learned to back. So he learned whoa, trot, walk on, and back before he ever felt a rope on him. 